Here's how Jeff Bezos actually invests his money. Wait until you hear about how much money he goes through a year for Blue Origin. Number 11, Google. Did you know that Jeff Bezos was actually one of the first people to back Google? Back in the 90s, the internet was still viewed as a crazy new development that's slowly becoming available for the masses. In 1998, Bezos had acquired a short-lived delivery service named Jungly. Obviously, that's not around anymore. With this acquisition, he met Ram Sharam, a man who would later serve as a link between Sergey Brin and Larry Page of Google and Jeff Bezos. Bezos and his wife were vacationing when he randomly decided to call Sharam, tell him to set up a meeting with the guys from Google. They met up for breakfast at Sharam's house and tried out the search engine. It was at that precise moment that Bezos decided he wanted to be a part of it. The only catch was that their early funding cycle had already closed. But what if a man with a net worth of $1.6 billion, well, back then anyways, said he wanted to invest in your idea? Bezos ended up investing $1 million from his own personal funds. Bezos finally sold his shares in July of 2019 for $1.8 billion. Yeah, even without Amazon, he would have been a billionaire anyways. Number 10, real estate. There's no way to be a billionaire without owning some really expensive buildings. His personal real estate includes houses on both the East and West Coast. Bezos has two multi-million dollar homes in Beverly Hills and a 10,000 square foot apartment in the Century Tower in Manhattan. That cost him just under $10 million. Bezos' New York presence is reported to have boosted Century Tower property values even higher, with space selling for $2,000 to $3,000 per square foot. He also owns Lakeside property in Washington State, where he spent $28 million to increase the living space to almost 30,000 square feet. In 2012, Amazon bought its own South Lake Union headquarters building in Seattle for one and a half billion dollars. That instantly made the company one of the city's largest commercial property owners. Amazon took possession of nearly a dozen buildings, almost two million square feet of office space, and approximately 100,000 square feet of retail space. Don't look for Amazon to stop investing more money in real estate anytime soon. Number nine. 10,000 year clock. Imagine spending $42 million on a giant clock. That's essentially what Jeff Bezos did. He invested money for building a clock that's supposed to last at least 10,000 years under a mountain. Why exactly would anyone decide to do this? Well, according to inventor Danny Hillis, it's to encourage people to think about humanity's not so distant future. And somehow he convinced Bezos to hand over $42 million. Not only did Bezos invest money on the project, but he also granted permission to do the project inside a mountain he owns on the Texas-Mexico border. And yes, Jeff Bezos is so rich that he owns a mountain. The clock works on thermal energy harvested from the temperature changes in the mountain. The clock can also be wound by people who make the hike to the site for a visit. Every 100 years, a century hand will advance, while every 1,000 years, a cuckoo will emerge from the structure. Okay. Number eight, MakerBot. The key to success is just to be ahead of the curve. And that's exactly what Jeff Bezos has been doing for decades. One of the more interesting investments Jeff Bezos has invested in was a 3D printing company called MakerBot. The company supplies 3D printers both for professionals and general consumers. Maybe one day it's something that we'll all have in our house. Bezos firmly believes in the abilities of the company and on the future of 3D printed objects, but he's well aware that there's still a long way to go to make everyday household items with a 3D printer. Bezos was asked if 3D printing would enable the digitization of physical goods anytime soon. Bezos acknowledged that it was, quote, far, far in the future. Bezos' initial investment was $10 million in the Brooklyn-based company back in 2011 and proved to be a good investment anyway since the company was purchased for over $400 million back in 2013. Number 7. Mark 43 Jeff Bezos is concerned about public safety? Back in 2012, students at Harvard University decided to bring tech to public safety. Mark 43 aimed to combine data obtained by law officers and make it accessible for first responders to have the right information at the right time. Mark 43 is trying to make things safer for everyone. Their venture is comprised of two different applications. 
The first is a records management system where officers are able to put down information about their arrests and incidents. The second is the application that makes that same information immediately available to first responders. According to co-founder Matt Palega, each and every feature developed was backed by hours of research in the field and on ride-alongs. Mark 43 was able to successfully prove that officers' time in the streets were enhanced with the applications. Imagine being able to accurately search through surveillance footage that's automatically uploaded onto one giant database. Number six, next door. Ever wondered how you could communicate with your neighbors in a secure way? Yep, Jeff Bezos wondered about that as well, and he thinks that next door totally made sense. It seems like Bezos is really into keeping the world safe. And that's exactly what Nextdoor is all about. They want people to connect with their neighbors in a private and safe manner. But what makes Nextdoor different from any other social media site? It's the fact that in order to be a part of a specific group, you have to be a confirmed resident of that area. One interesting optional feature is the ability for groups to be integrated with police and fire departments. That way, police and fire departments can send any notifications to the community at any time. But what about privacy? Nextdoor doesn't allow police or fire departments to access the identities of the users. Essentially, Nextdoor is kind of just like Craigslist except a lot less creepier and much more private. Number 5. Rethink Robotics Robots are going to be a huge part of our future and Jeff Bezos knows that. And that's why he invested in Rethink Robotics. Their mission is to build an entirely new class of robots to help bring robotics everywhere around us. Rethink Robotics wants robots to be effortlessly integrated with the human workforce, that way work is more efficient. They want the era when robots were kept behind the glass to keep people safe to an end. So far, Rethink Robotics has revolutionized the ease of use of robots in research and industry. Well, all that was a dream back in 2008. And it's still a dream now because in 2018, Rethink Robotics shut down after raising nearly $150 million. Hey, not everything Jeff Bezos invests can be winners. Robotics still needs to be further developed and it's still going to take a lot of money. But one day, robotics will lower the cost of everything around us even further. Find out about the true cost of some of our favorite things in this video. Number 4. Cancer Research it's now pretty clear that Bezos tends to have his mind looking far into the future, and he wants to help make cancer in the future a thing of the past. One of his investments is with Juno Therapeutics. They're hoping to eradicate cancer by rewiring the immune system. Juno is working with patients who haven't had success with chemotherapy, radiation, and transplants. Juno takes a patient's T cells out of their body. The T cell is then modified to recognize the cancer that's specific to that person. Then it's put back into the patient's body where it can hopefully help the patient target and kill off the cancer. Another investment Bezos has made in the fight against cancer is in a cancer detection startup called Grail. Grail's mission is to create a cost-effective screening test that's able to diagnose cancer at a very early stage even if the person currently doesn't have any symptoms. Number 3. Business Insider Most people know that Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post, but did you know that he invested in Business Insider as well? Apparently, both Bezos and Henry Blodgett, co-founder of Business Insider, had some history that made them practically the perfect match for a business venture. Blodgett boldly predicted the rise of Amazon stock price to a whopping $400 per share in 1998. Later on, he co-founded Business Insider as a blog for financial and tech news. In 2012, Bezos and Blodgett met together for dinner to discuss Bezos' possible interest in Blodgett's business. As a result, Bezos invested $5 million to help out Business Insider. So why is Jeff Bezos so big on journalism? He thinks that journalism plays a critical role in a free society. He bought the Washington Post because he felt that it's America's hometown newspaper, so it's especially important. He wants accurate journalism that tells the truth, no matter the cost. Number 2. Fundbox One thing Bezos definitely has, it's a soft spot for cash-strapped entrepreneurs. That's because he used to be one himself. And that's why he invested in Fundbox, a company determined to help smaller companies with their cash flow. Having experienced some financial struggles of his own during the beginning stages of Amazon himself, it's pretty clear why he would want to lend a helping hand. Fundbox serves as a financial support that lends money to entrepreneurs with a much better interest rate than a traditional bank. Users register on the platform and get an overall evaluation of their business. 
Within a day, they get the money they need to match the amount of their unpaid invoices. What makes Funbox even better? They have incentives for businesses that pay their debt quicker with lower fees. Funbox recently just got more funding to the tune of $176 million in October of 2019, so hey, this dream is still alive. Number 1. Blue Origin So what do you do when you're probably the richest person in history? Space exploration, of course. Do we need to say outer space exploration can get expensive? But money is whatever to Jeff Bezos. Blue Origin is his baby, and it seems like he's going to spend whatever it takes. A lot of money has gone into this project. He's been selling around a billion a year of Amazon stocks in order to fund Blue Origin. One of their ambitious goals is to make space travel for rich people profitable. For an estimated starting price of just 300,000 bucks, you can take a round trip to the moon and back. Watch this next video to learn about the true costs of your favorite things.